Fonzie Cricut YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you real quick how to curve your text so that you can create a new design or um, just a circular design with your text if you prefer. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to upload and choose the design that we're going to use for this project, which is the um, Welcome to Our Home SVG cut file, which is part of the December 2019 bundle on So Fancy. The links are at the bottom. You don't want to miss this bundle. It has 122 designs, 15 fonts, 24 digital papers. Uh, you can, there's Buffalo plaid in there, which is really hot right now. There's the stacked alphabet letters that make that mirrored retro design that you've been seeing everywhere. Uh, there are so many versatile and beautiful cut files for all different occasions in the December bundle. And that's our last bundle of the year. Also the last bundle of the decade. So we hope that you will grab that before it expires in two weeks. It expires December 31st at midnight. So be sure to grab that. Um, okay, so, um, oh, the other thing is please uh, check out the link below for the So Fancy exclusive event, which is the 12 days of Christmas. Uh, there's a 24 hour deal each day, some freebies in there, some great coupons on just about everything on the site. Um, so we hope that you'll take part in that as well. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, I adjusted the size of this to, let's see, about 11 inches. Um, that works well for what we're going to do. Let's move that down and then choose text. Um, okay, so I would like to add some personalization to this design. So I'm going to type in there the Smiths, which you can see. Um, let us enlarge the text as well so it kind of wraps above the welcome sign. Okay, so what I wanna do is grab everything and click on align, center horizontally. Okay, so this lined everything up pretty well. Um, there is a little bit extra space in between these letters, so I would like to bring the letter space down to um, the 0 0.8. Okay, so now, we are um, going to take the Smiths here and arch it so it arches above the welcome sign and add a little more customization to this just to make it a unique, uh, different look. Um, I realize the fonts don't match. I'm not a big stickler about that. I mean, you could make your own welcome sign and then add this curved text to it as well so all the fonts match, but I really like the, um, the font that we're using here, which is the Delicate Romance font duo and this is also part of that December bundle. There are 15 fonts and dingbats and some glyphs and special characters in there so if you um, want to use this specific font this is a duo so this is the sans serif one that I'm using but there's also um, a script too that goes with this. They're very nice. Okay so we are going to go with the with the text selected and the letter spacing adjusted, the size adjusted to what we'd like. You go up here and click on curve. Um, this here is going to, this slider is going to change the diameter of the curve. So if you slide it to the left, it curves it upwards. If you slide it to the right, it curves it downwards. So I'm gonna say about mm, 10, it's mine here is 10.793, but um, it really just depends on how much you adjust it as to what, you know, the actual curve is going to look like. You can continuously play with this curve. Um, so if you're moving along in your design, you decide that no, it's not curved enough or it's too much, you can always go back up here and change this as long as you do not change this file from text to something else. So you don't want to um, attach it or weld it or flatten it. It needs to stay as text in order to use this curving option. Once you're finished and your design is complete, then you can select everything and, and I'll show you how we're gonna attach it and make sure it all cuts together as one. Okay, so once you have this curved as much as you like and it's placed um, you know, pretty well in the space here, um, you wanna go and select all of it again 
and go back up to align and center horizontally, you will see that align is one of my best friends. I just, align makes everything so much easier. You can do a lot with just looking at it with your eyes, but that align tool is a powerhouse for any custom designs and design space. Okay, so now we have them all lined up. I'd still like to add just a little bit more here in the center. So I'm going to go to text and I'm going to add established year because I like those on welcome signs. Um, it's a nice little personalization. I'm going to place that where I think is the center. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Um, then let's select everything again and click align center horizontally. It moved it over just a tad bit. Okay, so now um, I think that I want to add just a little bit more to the sides of my established part. You don't have to, you can leave it just like this. It looks great. Um, this will cut beautifully and it will make a great gift for someone or for your own home as well. But I would like to go over here to where it says, welcome to our home. And um, I am going to select this and I'm going to right click on it to do to do ungroup you can also go up here and click ungroup but I use right click a lot and ungroup this design okay so I'm going to grab this laurel right here and I'm going to click duplicate okay so now there's another one I'm going to move that up here by the established 2011 and adjust the size so it's much smaller and then kind of put that in the middle um, let's see I like it right about there. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so here's another, let's move it over just a, just a tad bit. Here's another um, way that you can look at this without so much of the busyness of the grid behind it. If you go up here to where the two zeros meet on the grid and click on it once, it removes the quarter inch marks. If you click on it another time, it removes the entire grid. So now you can you can see it much better. I mean, I can see that I want to move this just a little bit more up and to the left, and there we go. Okay, so grab that again. Um, now I'm going to right click on it and do duplicate again. And this time I'm going to move it over to this side of the design, but I would like to flip it. So obviously the, the um, leaves are going the right direction. So click on flip and flip horizontal and it will change it around to the direction that you'd like. Okay, now let's make sure that these all line up straight. So select this laurel, the text, and the other laurel and go up here to align and then let's go to um, center. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, not center, sorry. It's not being my best friend right now. <laughs> um, let's go up here to align and do center vertically. Okay, so that kind of makes everything um, centered. And if you're worried about the space to the left and the right, you can also go to align and distribute horizontally. That will make sure that there's equal space between the edges of the letters and these laurels. Okay. So now this is, this looks great to me. Um, we've added some customization. So let's select everything on the screen. Make sure all, oops, make sure all of the layers are selected. And now we are going to click attach. Okay, so let's attach this design and see what happens when we click make it. It brings everything onto the mat. Now, um, this is telling me that it is larger than the mat. It actually is not larger than the mat, but um, Cricut needs that, um, you know, the little space around the mat that they include in the sizing. So what I would like to do instead is let's take all of this together. It's already attached and let's just make it just a little bit smaller so it fits on my 12 by 12 mat um, and then click make it. And now you can see that here it is placed on the mat as one piece and you can click continue and go on to cut. Um, we, I am not going to cut this because I've already cut it out, but I wanted to show you how simple it is to use the um, curve 
option in Cricut Design Space. So I hope you learned something today. Um, if you have any questions, leave them at the bottom of the video. I'll be happy to answer them and um, come back again soon to see our next video. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.